Aurora Energy's poorly maintained power poles and cables have landed the company in court. The Commerce Commission has filed court proceedings against the Dunedin City Council owned power company for failing to meet its quality standards. That's in 2016 as well as 2017. Aurora was previously warned for breaching those standards in 2012. Timothy Brown spent the past month investigating Aurora's power pole network and he filed this report. The Commerce Commission has launched proceedings in the High Court, saying Aurora's underinvestment in its network, which supplies electricity to more than 88,000 customers in Dunedin, Central Otago and Queenstown Lakes, led to power poles, cables and transformers deteriorating and causing increased power outages. No date is set for the case to be heard. However, under the Commerce Act, the court can impose a maximum penalty of $5 million for each breach. And the company's adherence to its quality standards for this year is also under the microscope. Whistleblower Richard Healy, a former staffer who walked away from the company in 2016 to reveal the state of the network, says the potential penalty is a pittance. It's an extremely bittersweet experience. I'm more than aware that $10 million is not a drop in the ocean for Aurora. When I left the company, the uh, projected spend for the next 10 years was in the mid $400 million range. Mr Healy says he has worked with the Commission during the investigation and, while a financial penalty may seem a counterintuitive punishment for underinvestment, the legislation provides few options. I've already covered that with the Commerce Commission and I suggested that this was not an appropriate approach. Um, however, their hands are tied by the legislation. What I'd prefer to see is that the government move in with a commissioner, as it's done in the past for other networks, and control how the spend of the network. Neither the Commission nor Aurora would be interviewed for this story, saying it would be inappropriate with the matter before the court. However, in a statement, Aurora's Chief Executive, Richard Fletcher, says the Commission's decision is important for Aurora's new team, who are focusing on the future. He says this process will resolve what are now historic matters, and the company has undergone extensive transformation in the past year, with the new organisation significantly increasing network investment. Richard Healy paid short shrift to any suggestion the company's issues are historic. <laughs> That's straight out of the corporate playbook. Yes, yes, we've made some mistakes, but it's all in the past, and we've got good people now, and we've got the money to fix it. Outspoken Dunedin councillor Lee Vandervis also dismissed the notion. All issues in any line system will always be historic. You don't address issues in the future. They're, they're all something that happened in the past. Uh, the problem with Aurora is that they've kept happening despite uh, many years of having them being pointed out. The network is also the subject of an independent review. Mr Vandervis says the upside to the debacle is the quality and value of the network will now be better known. If it could be properly managed, I think it could actually be a very valuable asset. And as such, uh, I think we should look seriously at selling it um, because as long as we keep owning it, it I believe will continue to be a liability. Requests for interviews with Dunedin's Mayor Dave Cull and the city's chief executive Dr Sue Bidrose were declined. Checkpoint was also unable to contact Aurora's chairperson Steve Thompson but the chairperson of Dunedin City Holdings Limited Graham Crombie told Checkpoint he believes today's announcement is positive for Aurora. Well, I think it's, it's, it's a good positive move to move on to the next step. I mean we're very happy with uh, the way the new Aurora team are working and uh, this is just dealing with the historic piece and you know, the sooner we get that settled, we'll move on, the better. Just last Thursday, Checkpoint revealed one-sixth of Aurora's power pole network was deemed unsafe in March 2017 and required replacement. Aurora has since been unable to guarantee the safety of its network. But Mr Crombie had this to say. Look, I, I, again, go back, you go back and talk to the Aurora people, all the work that they're doing has been um, very positive from where they're going. And they're working against their plans, they're taking the independent advice, uh, so that independent report comes out um, in October. I think their asset management plan, which will reflect that information, is due 19th of October. So, yeah, I've got no reason to think anything else. So, so you do believe that the network is safe, just to clarify? Oh, I've got no reason to think anything else, yeah. Aurora has said it will agree to be interviewed once the findings of that independent review are made public. In Dunedin, for Checkpoint, Timothy Brown.